Hi folks, Brian Strausser from Bright Path with your September 11th Hurricane Irma update. Irma is currently a tropical storm, having downgraded earlier today after losing strength in northern Florida. The storm is currently moving from Florida into the southwestern part of Georgia, where it will continue on a northwesterly track through Alabama and into Tennessee, where it will become a tropical depression and dissipate uh, come Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. We are still seeing tropical storm force winds, rain and storm surge in northern Florida, most of the state of South Carolina and the Georgia coast, and most of Georgia up to and including Atlanta. The storm continues to be a dangerous storm driving significant flooding, wind, rain and storm surge and should not be taken lightly over the next 24 to 36 hours as it passes through. We're starting to see clear skies and sunny, sunny days in southern Florida right now as rescue operations begin in Key West and the Miami, southwestern Florida area. And that will probably be the focus of emergency management, public safety organizations over the next 24 to 48 or even 72 hours as they start to get a handle on the conditions of the ports, roads, electrical infrastructure, bridges, telecommunication, schools, and other buildings. As a business leader, what you need to know is that as emergency management moves from rescue operations, then they will start working on critical infrastructure restoration. Currently, 64% of Florida, or about 12, about 12 million people, 6.5 million uh, homes and businesses, are without power. And there will likely be significant electrical infrastructure damage uh, that will be one of the bigger challenges as we work through this week in terms of restoration of your businesses and getting uh, the economy back up on the ground uh, in South Florida. We'll continue to see these challenges with transportation. A particular issue will be that most rescue equipment uh, and electrical restoration equipment and others personnel have been staged in states like Alabama and Georgia and will have to come down through northern Florida to the part of the state that's really been hardest hit in central and southern Florida. We'll learn more over the next 24 hours or so as crews start to be able to get out safely and assess what's going on. As a business leader, if there's ways that we can help you, Bright Path has decades of hurricane experience, everything from daily briefings to videos like this, webinars and online briefings that help inform your crisis management teams, your senior executives about the challenges on the ground, and keep you from having to sit through six or seven hours of conference calls with state, local, and federal government on what's actually happening in terms of an emergency management effort. If we can help you, visit brightpath.com hurricanes or give us a call at 612-235-6435.